family's now breathing a little easier after the teenager responsible for their loved one's death was sentenced to 32 years in prison. Jose Orozco pleaded guilty to manslaughter, assault, and other charges for a deadly wrong way crash on I-65 back in 2021. The crash killed 22-year-old Dua Lutfi and injured two others. Lutfi's family spoke out at the courthouse for today's sentencing. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer joins us with more from the hearing. Well, today was the first time the Lutfi family was able to address the man responsible for Dua's death, leading to four very emotional testimonies. Now, Dua's mother and three of her sisters expressed the pain they've gone through both physically and mentally over the last two years without her. The family says she was the spirit of the group and a part of them died when Dua did on October 16th, 2021. They told Orozco that they don't think they'll be able to ever forgive him, but say they hope he learns from his, his mistakes and values being alive. Dua's older brother, Sufyan Lutfi, says he chooses to remember all the good she's done, but being without her hasn't been easy. It's, it's been tough, man. The day that goes by that I don't think about my baby sister every day. Every day I think about her. Every day, you know, I'll, 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 I'll be at work. I'll pull up my TikTok and I'll, I'll pull up some videos of her just, just to see her again. And it's, 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 it's sad. Orozco's family was visibly and audibly upset after the sentencing and watching the 19-year-old get taken into custody. Now, after serving 240 days in prison, Orozco will be able to petition for a shock probation, something the Lutfi family says they will keep a close eye on. Brandon Spencer, Wave News. Thanks, Brandon.